Hello everyone, today we will see how we can calculate crystallinity and degree of gelatinization by using DSC graph. In previous video, we have already seen how we can analyze the DSC graph. For calculating crystallinity, percentage crystallinity by DSC, the first step is to calculate the area of the transition. If we have a melting curve, then we need to calculate the area of melting peak. If we have crystalline peak, then we will calculate the area of crystalline peak. The next step is to calculate the enthalpy of transition. So here we have a melting curve for calculating enthalpy of melting. So we will divide the area of melting peak by heating rate, which we decide while uh, using the DSC. So unit will be the joule per gram. So the formula for percentage crystallinity is uh, enthalpy of melting divided by enthalpy of pure uh, sample. That means 100% crystalline sample. So this will give the percentage crystallinity of that sample. Uh, this value you will get from the standard table. While doing DSC analysis, if, if we get the coal crystallization peak in the graph, then we need to subtract the uh, enthalpy of crystallization. Why? Because it will ultimately uh, affect the delta m so we need to subtract this value so that we will get the percentage crystallinity when we have a cold crystallization next uh, slide we will uh, take one example and we will see how we can calculate percentage of crystallinity here we have a dsc curve which have both cold crystallization as well as uh, in melting peak so we have calculated the area under this peak and we have got the enthalpy of melting the value is 74.71 and enthalpy of crystallization which is 53.39 so we need to subtract this value as per the equation and we divide the 100% uh, pure sample uh, here our sample is pet material so if we have 100% crystalline material then we, we will get the, this value from the standard table and we can and we we can calculate the percentage crystallinity if we talk about the food sample so which contain starch material which undergo the gelatinization process so we calculate the degree of gelatinization gelatinization is a endothermic process so here we have a fresh sample dsc curve if we in the fresh sample, usually starch is intact, having more crystalline structure and gelatinization process is the disruption of crystalline structure. If we have more crystallinity in our sample, star sample, that means we will get the more enthalpy of gelatinization. When we do some treatment to the sample, and we reduce the crystallinity of that sample and that sample if we do the dsc then we will get a small enthalpy of gelatinization so how we calculate the degree of gelatinization i have two graphs one for the fresh sample and another one is treated sample we calculate the separate enthalpy of gelatinization and then we use the following formula to calculate the degree of gelatinization. So here one thing we need to do that we need to multiply with 100 to get the degree of gelatinization in percentage. Two research articles which has calculated degree of gelatinization here we can see they have calculated degree of gelatinization on the following equation we can also see how they have calculated gelatinize and raw one more paper where we can see that this is the 
untreated this one is the treated and this one is the untreated sample where where this value represent ungelatinized starch so let's take a practical example and we will calculate the degree of gelatinization so here i have taken a uh, food sample uh, food sample which is having starch so i have blanched that sample so blanching uh, uh, causes gelatinization of starch which we can see clearly that the enthalpy of gelatinization is reduced uh, significantly so for this experiment we will calculate the degree of gelatinization first we will calculate the degree of gelatinization for the fresh sample let's the plot this is our uh, fresh sample so we need to calculate the area under this curve for doing that we need a baseline so we will create the baseline first so peak and baseline and peak analyzer so we can calculate the area under peak here also but we will see a different method to calculate the area under peak so we will create a baseline for this this time So I have created the baseline for this graph. Now we will calculate the area under this graph. So we will go to the gazette and integrate. Go to the integration section. So here we have a uh, two option. One is mathematical area and absolute area. Absolute area means if you have a negative value, then the it will be subtracted from the that area so we will keep the mathematical area so the shaded area will show the integration area and next uh, we will choose the baseline here uh, automatically they have considered y equals to zero but we will add what we have created so we will go to this and we will click on this so we have calculated this baseline so we will select this so we have done and we will select this one restrict to rectangle so that we can manipulate the how much area we want simply click on it so here we can change the width of this rectangle so here we got the area of uh, this curve and uh, the value is 190.50 so we will write here 190.50 In the same fashion, we will also calculate the area under curve of a blanched sample. For that, we need to plot the graph. So we have plotted this graph and we need to create the baseline. So we will create the baseline. 
we will do we will add point to baseline choose this point in a similar fashion like the one you did for the fresh sample otherwise it will change the value we will finish it now we will calculate the area under this curve we will go to integrate and so we will we need to pick the baseline from here we will pick this as a baseline and we need to choose the restrict to rectangle so we will click it and we want up to this so here we got the area under this curve and this value is 53.38 this value is 53.38 Here we can see that to calculate the enthalpy we need to cal uh, divide the heating rate for in this case for both untreated and treated sample we have a same heating rate whether we will divide or not the, it will give the same value because the, it will cancel out so I will simply divide the untreated simply divide the area of treated sample with the untreated sample that is a raw so i will put equals to this divided by this so degree of gelatinization we need to subtract this value from one one minus this value this is in a fraction if we want to put in a percentage simply multiply so it is around 72% degree of gelatinization of this sample. So this value represent 72% uh, have been gelatinized by this treatment. So this is how we calculate the degree of gelatinization. Thank you so much.